Hello! Welcome to Learn Frank with Scarlet. Today I would like to do a haul, an art haul. Okay, so here's my disclaimer. It is like one o'clock in the morning. Um, we went to this lovely store at my art supply store. We went there maybe at two o'clock in the afternoon today, but then we went to Lubeck and we walked around and we went out for dinner and we sat by the water and I did a whole bunch of tutorials for you. And now we're finally home and it is, like I said, one in the morning. So I'm so tired, but before I take this out, I want to show you guys uh, and then I'm going to unpack it and put it all away because, you know, that's always exciting. And then I'll go to sleep. <laughs> First thing I got was a Faber and Castell 5 graphite uh, watercolor pencils. So these water soluble graphite pencils. Da -da -da. And there's five in here. I have been using them all day, so there's only four in here right now. The other one is um, in my travel bag. And I got these specifically. I already have the big kits of this. But I got this because, one, it's Faber and Castell. And two, it's such a tiny little box that it fits perfectly into my travel basket or into my bag. I also picked up a new watercolor um, block. It's not actually a block. It's a spiral bound watercolor book. Um, this is also, this is the house brand from Brosner. I really like using the house brand. Their particular house brand is really good. Um, and I did do a teeny tiny crazy wacky sketch of the city of Lubeck while we were there this afternoon. It was so dark. I think I did this at around 11 o'clock and it was so dark I could barely see what I was doing. Um, but my husband had turned his, the light on on his phone so I could still see it. But I did make a quick tutorial for you guys on how to do this so you should see that soon. Once I watch it um, and if I decide that it's good enough so we'll just put that out there. So I have my receipt. Let's see. The entire pile that I'm going to show you today came to 121 euros and six cents. Uh, I got a rake brush. One rake brush. I believe this one was. Oh, this is going to be complicated. This was uh, one euro eighty, and the graphite pencils were. I think. Hold on. Uh, six euros and seventy one cents. Um, I got Da Vinci, of course. Um, these are Da Vinci brushes, which I was going to order specifically, and then I saw that I recognized them in this little kit and thought, well, that's so much e easier if I just uh, take these ones. And it'll save me the trouble of having to order them. This is a flat Da Vinci brush. It's Da Vinci 9 from series 1350, and these are from series 1150. I have a whole bunch of these. These are rigger brushes, but this is a size 12 and a size 6. So this is like almost like a rigger flat, like it's an extra long flat. Um, you can use it for, for just about anything. Calligraphy, for sure. Um, doing roadsides, um, any, we'll get into that later when I talk about brushes, but regular brushes are also good for branches or telephone poles and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, so three new brushes, because you always new brushes. I believe these cost 16 euros and one cent. Ah, I got a Lucas, um, Lucas Travel Watercolor called Travel Box, Lucas Watercolor Studio Travel Box. I picked this one up and this one was eight euros and 67 cents. I don't really like the way the plastic looks. It's not the best, I mean, how can you possibly have good, good quality plastic? Personally, I think it's all crap, but it doesn't, kind of looks like it's already yellowed. It's not pretty, it's not so much fun to get open. Okay, so I'm gonna break my nails. The next problem I found is that the Lucas sticks to the top. Um, but my answer to that, or so the Windsor Newton also stinks, so it sticks to the top. So if I turn this over, they're all gonna fall out. <laughs> we don't want to do that. Um, is I take like the gummy that you would use to tack things onto your walls, like little pictures, without wrecking your wallpaper. I take a little bit of that and put it in a ball and stick it behind the paint so they don't fall out. And I'll eventually get around to doing that. So I got this. Um, if I show it to you, they're all going to fall on the ground. This Lucas watercolor set because I want to review it. Tommy! Come here, kitty! Okay, so this 
So like I said, that was like, there, buddy, why are you meowing? That was like, um, 10 bucks. Shh, we're making a video. People want to see the haul. Yeah, I know. You want to come up? You want to come up? No? Okay. Oops, I haven't done that yet. Alright, um, additionally I got some magnets. You can see back here I have my, my whiteboard. It's a whiteboard uh, for magnets. And um, these are two containers that both contain 24 magnets. They're these super duper strong, teeny tiny ones. Buddy, you're not going outside. It's like 1 in the morning. You've been out all afternoon. And I fed you and you're... What's your problem? So I got more magnets because I am totally running out constantly. I'm always taking pictures down and putting pictures up and getting new magnets. So now I have a whole bunch more. Um, I got some clamps. One clamp, two clamp, three clamp, more clamp. I only got two. Um, I think they were 80 cents or something like that. I'm not sure. Clamps are pretty cheap. They're also the biggest they had. This is a new palette, um, and I will definitely keep the box. I'm more excited about the box than the palette. I like keeping these boxes. They're really good and stiff, and I put my pre-cut, um, my husband rips my paper down, I put that in here, and then I throw that into either to be stored um, over there on the shelf or uh, to go into my basket if I'm going on tour. So I definitely keep these for paper storage. This is the new palette. Now, I recently got one of these in plastic, and I found pretty quickly that the plastic was soaking up some of the color of the watercolors, some of the ink from the watercolor, the pigment, sorry, from the watercolor, and um, it just didn't look so pretty. And I just prefer palettes that are made of porcelain definitely than plastic. It's nicer, it's, it's heavier, it just looks beautiful. And this is the kind of thing you keep for life. It's not something that I'm gonna throw out and have to get a new one. Now, that being said, I don't have children and my cat is not strong enough to knock this off the table. If you had kids, that might not be the case. So, we got the palette. The palette was, which was a palette? I think the palette was 14 bucks. Oh, I think it's on page two. Nope, it is not. 11. 11.94 for the palette in euros. Okay, and then there's two things left. This is a another, because I have a whole bunch in all different sizes and varieties. This is another um, paintbrush box. It's got a little clip on the top, and they're all in, in copper, which is really cute. So if I open that, and now I'm going to hold it in the middle and just show you how this goes. This part folds down. How cute is that, huh? And here, we have all these spaces. So, if I put my brush in here, okay, oops, I want to put that back on, obviously. So my brushes will go in here, and you can just leave that. Uh, you can leave that folded, actually, and have it sit somewhere, however you want. But on the other side, you've got space for other things, maybe your little kneaded eraser, uh, longer brushes, whatever it is you want. And then this is going to fold up somehow into place. That's always a little weird. Okay, so it's going to keep the brushes in place, so they're not going to theoretically slip out. That, of course, closes nice and tight closed. Now let's test it. Oh, look at that. They stay in place. Okay, so, and this is the first time I bought this this exact box, or this exact type of box, uh, but I have looked at it a few times. And I'm going to have to get some more because I like the idea of having my brushes separated either by company or by type. So having a box just with the uh, flat brushes and a, blush, a box just for the flat and a box just for the rigor and a box just for the round um, or a box that's for my medium grade set with everything and a box for my high quality everything. So it depends. Um, when I'm all done collecting brushes I'll have a better idea of how that's going to go. So that was my brush box. I believe that was seven or eight bucks. $7.55. And the very last thing that comes out here 
is crazy heavy. And it is a new storage unit. I know what you're thinking. There are a lot of these over there. This one, there's already one, but there's a ton of boxes in general. I'm really, um, really attracted to wooden boxes. I really like wooden boxes. They're not made of plastic. They last a very long time. In fact, I actually have a few that have been handed down uh, through the generations and that ended up here in my studio. Um, and so are very, very old. Um, I, I think that these are amazing. They're going to, if I take good care of them, they could outlast me. You know, I mean, that's an easy way to say it. They're not going to color, they're not going to crack, they're not going to be damaged in the sun. Uh, because they're wood, if there's any moisture, they will absorb the extra moisture and keep whatever's inside nice and safe. Uh, so I really like that this one. It has little shelves. It has little drawers that pull out completely. And this one is perfect for brushes or pencils or... Um, Erasers, all those. Hey, I'm doing. Okay, that doesn't actually happen normally. I'm I'm, I'm doing it backwards and on an angle. And it's getting all wet. Right. So there's three drawers here. Pull them out so you can see. You can see three drawers. Um, and the other thing that I do with this sometimes, or what I do with the last one, is here it's got these dividers are already put in here, and I crack the dividers out on both sides. And then I could put some of my pictures into here, so I had flat spaces. Um, it's really hard to find shelving or storage space for paintings, and this is nice and thin, and so I had like, I mean my pieces are really small, right, you know that. Um, so I could put in like 30 or 40 pieces, you know, 20 here, 20 there, without worrying about it and slip it in, then one shelf was for finished work, one shelf was for keep working on it, you know, work in progress, and then the top shelf maybe for things that had just been sketched, so it's like um, inspiration work, or if I need inspiration, pick one of them and just go ahead and, and work on that. But for this particular box, I'm going to leave these in, uh, because I think I'd like to use it for pencil crayons and watercolor pencils, like all the little things that just really need space. And I will be getting more, so perhaps in the next haul, 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 in my next haul video, um, I'll be getting another one. I think I want, I think I'd like to have four of these in total. So I will need another two, at least. So like I said, the entire pile that you see right here, which now that I'm looking at, like this doesn't look like very much, uh, costs, came to, um, with the clamps and the boxes, um, 121 euros and 6 cents. So, thanks for watching. That was my haul today, and it all came from this lovely shop, Frozen. Oh, wait, there's something else in here. funny that was not on purpose okay I got another kneading eraser because I used up my other one a few days ago I do have a few more in stock but every time I use one I like to buy a replacement so that I always have two or three in stock I think I have three in stock now um, this is the last thing I want to run out of well, not the last thing there are a whole bunch of things I don't want to run out of and I also got a cobalt uh, turquoise Cobalt Turquoise number 509 from Schminky. And if I tell you here, this is PG50. So pigment green number 50. And I think in the future I'm going to tell you guys what the pigment name code is for the paints. I'll also tell you the number of the paint and the company, but the pigment code is really important. And the more uh, the more I tell you, I hope that you guys will start getting those numbers stuck in your head. And then later on in a future episode somewhere down the line, we can talk about which pigments you want to avoid and which pigments you don't want to avoid. For example, PY1, it's not a very good paint. You want to avoid that. But that would be pigment yellow one. <laughs> My cat's starting to jump around the bed going off. You know they do that they lose it and go crazy anyway so this is the last thing was this single tube of paint I would have gotten more paint um, but the budget for today was only 100 euros uh, and of course I went over by 21 dollars and six cents uh, <laughs> but I just really wanted to get um, some of the things that I knew I needed to fill certain gaps so I definitely needed magnets um, I definitely needed a what is this called a rake brush it's not called a rake brush 
H-A-K-E, uh, -E, Hake brush. Anyway, we'll talk about that in another episode. Um, I wanted to get graphite pencils, one or two, but this was just perfect for my bag. I definitely needed to get a new uh, spiral bound notebook and in really large so I can use that to do on location stuff. Um, the Lucas paints are for reviewing and I do think uh, it's very possible. Did I already mentioned this. I'm going to use these as a giveaway in the upcoming one of the upcoming giveaways. Um, we'll have to wait and see when the next one is. I haven't actually finished this one. There is a giveaway going on right now in the month of July 2016. So if it is July 2016, check it out. If it's not and you're watching this later on, I do a lot of giveaways every year. So be, f be sure to check out somewhere on my channel um, if there's a giveaway going on at the moment. And if not, just wait patiently because there will be one very soon. The clamps, I got two of them, uh, the brush case, and of course, the new palette. I'm Scarlett, thanks for watching. This was Learn to Paint with Scarlett, my shopping haul. And I got all of these things from this lovely company here, Bosner. It is um, a German, uh, and you can see all the millions of cities it is. It's in Germany, Austria, France, Switzerland, and that's it. France, Austria, Switzerland, and Germany. So, yeah. So it's in four countries in Europe and it is the largest art supply, wholesale art supply store in Europe. So it's a really great place to go to. If you are in any of these countries, definitely check it out. They have stores all over the place. And some of them are really, really, really big. Some of them are tiny. Some of them need memberships for, some of them are for only professional. This particular one I go to is only for professional artists, but there are so many that you can go sh easily go to another one. Thanks for watching. Toodaloo.